Welcome YouTube, it's your boy Lil George. I'm back at it again with another banger. So this time I'm actually gonna be doing a review video from a website called World of Snacks. I apologize for me looking back and forth. I'm actually looking at my laptop while I'm recording at the same time. So forgive me for that. If you're new to the channel, click the like button, subscribe and put on those post notifications. I'm gonna be coming to y'all with that heat. But yeah, I'm going to do the video. So pretty much the way the, the website works is pretty much similar to Snack Crate. So you can purchase a subscription or whatever and you can cancel it at any time. Every month they usually, they'll send you a box from, a box of snacks from, from a different country. So the way mine's came, cause I just want to do a one time thing on the sole purpose of recording the video. But mine's came in a box like this or whatever. It's just a mixture of different things. So it ain't nothing in particular. They didn't really do a good job at letting me know which snack came from which uh, place. So that's, that's exactly why I'm looking at the laptop so I'll be able to let y'all know exactly where each snack is coming from. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first snack I got is... Nunching. Nunching, if that's how you pronounce it. Nunching. Anywho, it's from Korea. So, this is a Korean snack. And it says that they're shrimp-flavored chips. Like, I really love shrimp. Or whatever, that's probably my favorite seafood shrimp. I love shrimp. So, I should like these. I don't really know how the flavor's gonna taste with, with it being a chip or whatever, but it's stink too. But this pretty much, this is what it looks like. They look like some, they kind of look like. Have y'all ever seen like the Cheetos puffs? They kind of look like some puffs, but it's a, in a shape of a chip. So it really don't look like it's much flavor, but it smells like it's a whole lot of shrimp seasoning or something in it. It's actually. It's actually pretty good though. All right. You don't really taste, you can't really taste the, you can't really taste it, but it kind of tastes like a, a chip cracker or something, but it's actually pretty good. Mind y'all, I ain't had nothing to eat all day. So whatever I eat, I probably ain't gonna say it's nasty because I ain't had nothing to eat all day. But these is really good. I guess I get get on into the second snack or whatever. These right here, it's actually some popcorn my boss sent us from work. And it's really, really, really good. I don't know if they made it. On their own, or can y'all see it? It's like, I don't know, it's like chocolate, fudge, and it is real good, or whatever. This did not come in my box, like I told y'all, this was a gift from our boss and my job. They really good. Yeah, I had to go give me some juice because them shrimp juice really, really salty. Good power weight on that. But the next snack I got with y'all, I don't really know how to pronounce that word. I think it's Copico Cappuccino Candy. And this is actually candy from the Philippines. So this Filipino candy. 
y'all know I, I have to wake up early in the morning because I work early in the morning. So I'm a morning person. Caffeine, coffee, cappuccino, anything with some caffeine in it. I, I, I really like because it keeps me up. It keeps me on my, my toes and stuff. Being, being, that, being that the reason I have to be up so early in the morning, I have to have some energy. But it's actually a whole bunch of different candies. A whole lot of different uh, candies. And, uh, but I'm going to just eat one. Just let y'all know how it tastes. In case y'all interested in giving y'all something. But it looked like, you know, see, like, it looked like the, the black part may be the coffee part, and then the light part may be like the cream or something. Yeah. It's definitely a little kick to it. I might not even have to stop at Starbucks. Starbucks, Copico gonna put y'all out of business. It's kind of strong though, so I ain't, I ain't really feeling it. I ain't really feeling it, but it's pretty good, but it's kind of strong. Like I guess for some of the black coffee drinkers, they really love this flavor because it's a strong flavor. It ain't really, really sweet, but I mean, I give it a, a good, out of a scale from one to 10, I give it a good seven, you hear me? A good seven. I can't give it a 10, cause I, I, I need seasoning, sweet. So you gotta be, have some sweetness to it. And the next snack I got for y'all is a strawberry cheesecake ice cream Kit Kat. And this joint is actually from Japan, so it's some Japanese candy. Y'all see the little, um, the Japanese symbols down there at the bottom. This actually looks like this is gonna be pretty good. Strawberry is like one of my favorite fruits, so it better be good. You know, Kit Kat is good, so if you collab Kit Kat with strawberry, you gonna have, a, have an, an interesting flavor. This shit it smells so good too. It, it looked like this, so you kind of see like the little strawberries. It's real strawberries in there. See what it tastes like though. See what it hitting on. Bust. 10 out of 10. So far, this is the best thing on the head. This is the best thing on the head so far. Bust. Where did it come from again? Japan? Yeah, this fire, I'm gonna have to order some more of these. It kinda tastes like them little strawberry milkshake whoppers, if y'all ever tasted the whoppers. Y'all probably ain't, cause I think like mostly old people eat it, but it, it tastes very similar to that. And if y'all like them, y'all really gonna like these, cause it's really good. Cause the, my thing about Whopper is, is that they really, they too hard, but this is the perfect texture right here. The next snack I got for y'all is this. This is actually called Mont Blanc Chocolate and Chopped Hazelnut. So I don't even really know if I pronounced it correctly. Well, this is some Ukrainian chocolate, so it's from Ukraine. I mean, I ain't never had no Ukrainian chocolate before. But, let's see what it's, let's see what it's hitting on. They really, they put a whole bunch of paper on this for this little one little piece of candy. This thing better be good, cause it, it look like it's white right there at the top. It kinda look like a mountain or something. And chocolate, so this is something that's chocolate filled. Yeah, that's 
That's actually pretty good. There's some dark chocolate though. I don't, I don't really like dark chocolate like that because it ain't got as much sugar to it. So, a very strong taste. My taste buds, you know, like old people. They old people like stuff like that. I am. I ain't really digging on it right there. The next snack I got for y'all is called a fudgy bar. And it's with two E's and two R's. And this is actually from the Philippines as well. So this is really a cake. I don't really, I don't really like cakes like this because every time you eat a cake, you don't have to end up getting something to drink because cakes are super spongy and they kind of dry. Man, they put some hard ass cup on this. I know. That's that really neat. It looked like a little small pound cake or something. They put it in a in a little cake thing, like a little muffin thing or something. It seems it's supposed to be cream filled, but where? They lied, this ain't nothing but cake. It's like vanilla cream feel. It tastes like a pound cake though, so. That's all it tastes like. There ain't nothing extravagant about it. This one, it kinda of tastes like banana bread. Go so, ahead, yeah, ain't nothing amazing about it. Like, tastes like something you can get from America. And the next snack I got for y'all is a choco pie made by Orion. Like, I don't even have to open this or look at it to compare what it looks like to me. It kind of looks like one of the moon pies. Moon pies, there's some old, old people cakes and stuff too. But I, I really like the, the only moon pie I really like is the banana joint. I ain't really digging on the chocolate or anything. I just got this because I hadn't, hadn't picked up any oil. I hadn't ordered anything from Korea. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what it tastes like, a moon pie. But I don't really like the chocolate junk. Them junk's really nasty. So that one right there, they get a two out of 10. You know, waste of time, waste of money. The next thing I got for y'all is these Pocky Sticks. Another strawberry flavor candy. I told y'all strawberry is my favorite. And these is actually from Thailand. So there's some Thai snacks. And let's see what it looks like. It kind of looks like if y'all ever had like, damn, what's the name of the candy? I can't even think of the name of the candy right now. But like a cookie straw or something. They look like this. They smell really good though. It's like a whole box of them joints. And I know I ain't gonna eat all of these. But let's see what it tastes like. These are pretty good. Ain't really much flavor to it, but you know. I'm gonna dig it. It ain't that bad. You know what would be a good idea though? To get a cup of milk and like stir this in the milk and eat it. Because I can't see myself just eating all of this without having no milk or nothing like that. And this little old piece of candy right here, this is called, called the Elvin Ivan melon fruit candy or whatever. It's from Turkey. 
some Turkish candy. I don't really like candy like that because it's really bad for your teeth. It looks like a little lollipop or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to do that one right there. That shit was so nasty. That shit was horrible. Uh, hold on, y'all. I'll be back. This, the last candy I got for y'all is Ferrero Yogurt. I've actually heard of this before. This is what it looks like. Kinda hard to read the title because you know the, the image, the way the image flips like this. But this candy is actually from Germany. I've had German chocolate before. German got like some of the best chocolate or whatever. But this is supposed to be like a yogurt filled candy bar. I bet you this pie, but again, it's strawberry flavored. I told y'all I miss with strawberry too. That's my favorite fruit. So y'all know, like, if y'all ever trying to buy your boy some fruit or something, trying to make sure your boy stay healthy, give me some, go ahead and cop me some strawberries. That's pretty good. Good texture to it, it's soft, it ain't too hard. They tell like they got some real strawberries in there. I mean, no artificial flavor. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's good right here. It's done right here. Listen, I think this might be my new number one. Out of everything I'm hanging. Yeah, this this job right here, bust it here. So that pretty much concludes my review video. Again, the website I ordered all of these snacks from was World of Snacks. Like I told y'all at the beginning of the video, you don't have to purchase a subscription. The subscription just allows them to send you a box of snacks from different countries every month. But you can get the box like how I did. I did a customizable box to where I can have a, a different mix of snacks from all over the world. So, you know, out of everything I ate out of there, they, they pretty much, they, they pretty much good, you know, Japanese and Korean. They, they real, 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 real big on eating healthy and stuff. So the snacks that I ate that were that were from them, they didn't really have too much seasoning. But overall, everything was pretty good. Out of, out of the whole box, I gave it a good eight out of 10. So it was straight. If you're new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, drop down any suggestions in the comments area if y'all want to see any other videos from me but until next time peace